I live in Ferndale, Washington, and I've been uh, living here since 1993. My name is Dalji Singh Dillon, and my age is, uh, I'll be 69 uh, in March for, on March 14. I consider myself lucky that I got here. I'm 69. And uh, there are many people who don't get there, you know. And other thing is, I feel myself lucky. I'm surrounded by my grandkids. Uh, we are a multi-generational family. Uh, my son lives with me uh, and my wife and uh, grandchildren. I don't even feel 69. I feel like, you know, so young. They're always making me run around with them and, you know, do this for us. Dad, uh, they come, Baba, come and play with us. From my perspective, uh, you start aging, uh, you know, once you become an adult, you, you start preparing for aging. Uh, like uh, I had my mother live with me from the very beginning and all my grandchildren, they saw how I treated her and I very well know that I will be treated the same way as I treated my mother. Uh, my grandfather, uh, he was in the first, war, first World War in Egypt. And my father was in the Second World War. And he actually was in Japan in the occupation force after Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing. So when I came from India, I came straight to Cleveland in 1987. It was a big change, like starting from zero again. We had come as immigrants and we had to put bread and butter on the table. Uh, uh, your own children, we were busy working at that time. And when we, uh, he was uh, six years old when we came to US and me and my wife were working two jobs at that time. Uh, and uh, we had uh, very little time for the kids. But my mother was at home and she, she did a wonderful job raising them, you know, and they still, they have the, uh, pic her pictures in their wallet. Even when we came here, like I built my house and uh, whenever I needed help, all my cousins came in, their children came in. Now my son, he takes so much care of me. And he, he always tells us, kid, hey, make sure your baba's comfortable, you know. And uh, th that's a hint to, to them, you know, and that's how they're going to take care of uh, him when he grows up. And if, if you don't take care of your parents or you neglect your parents, that's how you're going to be. And my daughter lives right uh, walking distance from my house. And uh, uh, she has two kids and uh, all the five grandkids, I take care of them. I drop them at school, bring them home, take them to their Games. <laughs> if I'm left alone, I'll feel old. You know? And if I have my family with me, I'll never feel old. I, I, I mean, my son always tells me, he says, it's up here. You know, you start, if you start thinking you're old, you're old. If you, if you don't think that way, you think that this is part of it, then you're good. <laughs> I had uh, knee surgery, and, uh, and it's, uh, you know, I don't even feel it. My kids, they help me out. Grandchildren help me out. And then I had, uh, uh, recently, I had uh, one of my discs was pinching against my nerve. So, so that uh, got fixed. And uh, I'm actually, right now, I'm uh, recovering from it. So I'm like 75% done and should be soon better. I do meditation too, tell you frankly. In the morning, I have uh, I do all my uh, uh, religious hymns. You know, I listen to them. Uh, at four uh, four thirty, I will turn that on, and that goes for one hour, and uh, I feel very peaceful with it. And you know, you're going to whatever time you're going to live, you're going to live. You know, and. It's better you live in a, a happy and healthy way than, uh, you know, uh, you know, drop yourself down. Oh, I'm going to die. So what? 
everybody is going to die who die one day and uh, there's nothing all the plants everything is you know uh, it's a cycle you're born you go up you go down and my grandfather died my father died i'm going to die children are going to die but what uh, my father used to say a very big thing to my mom my mom would always you know when she had pain or something he say hi hi and i'd say i'm going to die he he used to say you're going to die one day you know don't die every day die one day 